In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make clipping paths as you go. It's a little bit more advanced, so if it's not comfortable for you, you can stay with the other technique that was shown in the previous tutorials. As well, I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a collage. You can use adjustment layers, you can play with your opacity values, you can do blending modes, uh, overlays, and so forth. So, here we go. What I want to do is I want to make sure I'm on the pen tool. I'm going to zoom in. So if you do prefer to use a zoom tool, you can use a zoom tool or quickies, control plus or command plus. Quick key to move around the canvas is hold your space bar down or you could just grab the hand over here. So I'm going to hold the space bar down and I'm just going to start off. I prefer to use my pen tool this way. I'm going to go over to my pen tool now and I'm going to just click my path. So the first two are just clicks. The second one is pretty square as well. I can get away with a few clicks. Okay, now that I want to add curves, this is where it gets a little tricky. When you're working with the pen tool and you start creating curves, the pen tool always wants to go into a circular path. So we actually have to tell it to stop making a curve. So right now you can see that the handles are going in this direction, which means that it does want to create the next curve going around. So I have to kill this last handle. If I hold Alt on my keyboard and I click my last point, you will see that that handle has now been removed. So I can continue. And you only need to do that when you are working with curves. If you're doing straight lines, you don't have to kill the last curve. So again, I'm going to do another curve here. So I'm going to hold Alt and click my last point. And to create a curve, again, it is a click and a drag. Alt killed that last curve. Click and dragging. Alt kill the last curve. And when you're doing your selections, you always want to make sure that you are inside of the selection and not the outside, or otherwise you will actually be grabbing part of the background. And because this is kind of a rustic image, it does not have to be perfect. It has a little bit of decay on its own. Alt, kill that last curve, go up to the top, Alt, kill my last curve, and I'm not going to bring every single detail of this because that would take me a really long time to do. Alt, kill that last point. There we go. And again, I'm curving, so I'm clicking and dragging. Alt kills that last handle. Clicking and dragging. Alt kills the last handle. And now, just like you have been told in all the other tutorials, you need to see this little circle when you move from your last point to your first point to tell you that you can close your path. So my path is over here. If I go into my paths, what I can do now is just control and click or just right click and make selection. So I don't want a feathered radius. I want a hard edge. I'm just gonna zoom out for a second, make sure I have everything. Control C copies it. And now I'm going to be working with this document. You can see I've already bought in a few different layers. I'm going to hit Control V or Command V on a Mac. And here is my object. To move it, you can move, use the Move tool or just hit V on your keyboard. 